All right, guys. Where we going? Disney World. Disney World. Disney World. Yeah. Yeah. Disney World. Where you going, man? Disney. You sure? Yeah. Where you going? Disney World. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm going to Disney. Y'all might be going to El Segundo for all you know. Hi. We go through Disney World. Disney World. to another episode of Orlando Family Fun. Today, we are a little bit under 90 days out from going to Disney. Um, so me personally, I like to start packing, or at least I like to start getting things I know I'm going to need um, while I'm packing or when I'm going to need at the parks. Uh, we'll be going in uh, early May, oh, no, I'm sorry, late May. So it's going to be warm, but there may also be some chilly days. So I'm going to, me personally, I have kind of a high tolerance for coldness, so I may take a long sleeve shirt, if so, we will see, but usually I, I'm going to wear t-shirts uh, and shorts. But right now, we're going to take a look at some of the things that I have. We're going to start packing them, um, getting ready. Again, you want to, to me, you always want to have a hat. Um, you need a hat because you want to block that sun. And the sun is intense in Florida, it's a tropical location, so you definitely want to make sure that you are ready for the sun. That includes sunblocks. Make sure you pack some sunblock. Um, if you have a tendency to burn real quickly, make sure you take advantage of a lot of the shaded areas. Uh, also some of the indoor rides and also some of the shows, restaurants. If you can't stand the sun that long, you know, definitely get in and get out. Um, because of the year we're going, take in ponchos. Uh, you see I have a, a few there for the family. It rains once you start in June, let's say if you go in June to November, it's considered the uh, hurricane season in Florida, and it will rain every day. Uh, rain usually cooks up in the afternoon. Sometimes they'll go in half an hour. Sometimes they may stick all day with a cool front. So when a cool front runs through and the temperatures drop from the 90s to the 70s and you're wet, it's a big difference. So dress accordingly again. Make sure you take ponchos. You can take an umbrella also. If you do take an umbrella, Know that you probably want to carry it in when you go through security, but if not, if you put it in your bag, they're going to make you, they're going to check your bag. Um, so make sure, uh, if you do take an umbrella, remember that. Also, if you take like any um, things like laptops, or tablets, anything like that, and you stuff it in your bag, they're going to check your bag. So if you can, take them out, put them through. If you don't need them, don't take them. Uh, sometimes the name of the game you go to Disney is, is pack as less as, as possible. That way you don't have to carry around a lot of stuff. Um, again, got shirts. These shirts are lightweight shirts. Um, they get wet, they dry easily, um, including some uh, jerseys. Uh, things that get wet, they dry easily. I like that, so I have to worry about walking around in wet shirts. Um, also, the shorts I take are jerseys, um, basketball shorts. That way, again, if they get wet, they dry quickly. Um, I also have a couple of pair of swim shorts. In the event that we do go swimming, um, I just want to make sure I have that information because if you got a pool, if you got some free days, or if you just want to take a break from the park, go back and relax, you can do that. And it is a pretty cool thing. So, but again, what I do, I like to dress in jerseys. I like to dress in um, jersey shorts. Um, if not, dry, kind of dry fit shirts. That way, if I do get wet, everything dries pretty cool. Um, I will take... Uh, Probably a small backpack that I can put my stuff in, like extra cameras, extra batteries. Um, and we do also take uh, camelbacks. Uh, we take camelbacks because we can fill them up with water in the morning. Um, if it gets, we drink it through the day. Uh, there's always places at Disney that you can get extra water. Um, some of the uh, 
kiosks, some of the restaurants, they have extra water, so we're able to fill them, fill them back up. Also, you can take like collapsible cups. Uh, that way, if you run out, you can always, you know, fill it up when you get through. They collapse back, you put it in your pocket, so it's pretty convenient and good. Again, you want to uh, pack light when you go to the parks. Um, another thing that you may want to think about when you go to the parks is that you want to um, make sure you take any kind of medication, Tylenol, um, take that with you. Uh, if you go to happen to go to one of the um, stores and you try to buy that stuff, it's going to be expensive. Um, but remember also, at all the Disney parks and the Universal parks, there are first aid stations. You can get free aspirin, free Tylenol uh, if your baby's uh, crying or whatever. That's a good place to take them. Um, running fevers, that's a good place to take them. They can get your med medication. Um, another thing to re remember, if you are taking a baby, there are uh, baby stops that you can take your baby in, change your diapers, um, nurse if you need to. Uh, so that's also pretty handy. So what we're going to do is we're going to start packing this stuff. Um, I'm going to wait on my deodorant and my toothpaste because I still use my toothbrush and everything right now. But that is something I will also pack when I get there. Um, if you decide, you know, you want to pack lighter when you get on the airplane, you can go to Walgreens, Walmart when you get there, CVS, buy a toothbrush, toothpaste there. Uh, it's up to you. It's Dollar Tree's, eh? Buy it there. Again, you're packing lighter. When you get through, you throw the stuff in the trash and we're about to take it back home. So, just a little bit something to think about when you're packing. Um, but I'm going to put on pause for a minute and we're going to start. Um, Folding stuff up, sticking in a suitcase. All right, friends. So get it all set up. We're gonna start uh, doing some packing um, again. Um, we want to make sure that you have enough clothing. Uh, we're going for ten days. Um, we're actually going to stay at a hotel. Another hotel. I'm sorry. We're gonna stay at a house. Uh, good thing about having a house is that the house has wash and dryer so I don't have to pack a lot of stuff for 10 days and pack a few things and then kind of mix and match them from there on um, nobody's ever going to see me again nobody's going to pay attention to what I'm wearing one day to the next thing my own family's going to remember so don't worry about trying to be scared you're going to be seen by somebody in the same thing twice it's you know thousands of people down there nobody's looking for you uh, not to be sounding insulting or anything but let's just Nobody's going to recognize that you got on the same thing that you might have wore six days before. Um, so I do like to roll everything up. I mean, it kind of compacts everything. Uh, one other thing that's good about having shorts like jerseys and um, is that they also pack pretty uh, pretty small. So they don't take up a lot of room. I do like to roll them up. And again, um, if you got kids, I know you have some time to take extra pair of clothes, you know, especially if they're going to get wet. You might want to have something extra so they don't have to go around walking around wet. Um, so, make sure you take an extra bit of clothing with them. And again, I would say something that's kind of light. Uh, if it's summertime, it's very hot in Disney, so you can pack the little cute little onesie type things. Or again, jerseys, jersey shorts, whatever. Uh, if it's wintertime, um, Disney can get chilly. Uh, sometimes in the daytime it may get up to the 70s, 80s, but in the afternoon it may get in the 40s and 50s, so pack accordingly. If you plan on doing a lot of water rides, to be honest, the only place you're going to get really wet at the parks, uh, outside, of, outside of going to regular um, water park, but Animal Kingdom has got Collie River Rapids, uh, but that's about it. Uh, Magic Kingdom. Splash Mountain is closed right now as they make way for Tiana's uh, Bayou Adventure. So that's something that you don't have to worry about. Um, Universal Islands of Adventure, you can get really wet. Um, they have Jurassic Park River Ride, which will get you a little wet. But then they got Deli Do Rides, Ripsaw Falls, which can get you wet. And then they have Popeye's Bilge Rats, Barges, which will get you extremely wet. So if you do happen to go to those parks that day, also in City Walk too, sorry. The City Walk has a little, uh, kind of a little water park area. Um, sometimes it's not always running, but if it is, it's a really big temptation for kids to jump in. So be known that they may try to jump into that for you. Uh, 
But yeah, other than that, um, those other parks, Epcot, um, doesn't have anything that you want to get wet on. Um, Universal Studios, they don't now because Curious George Land has been closed. Um, it has been closed for a possible renovation until looking like it's going to be a DreamWorks uh, type of um, land. The land that was there before was a Woody Woodpecker's Kid Zone, and it did have a water park in the area. It was called Curious George. Um, it was a town, and it was a huge water park. Um, I don't know if they're going to keep it or not. There have, haven't been any uh, plans on it yet. But my actual thinking, because of Epic Universe coming up, because they are doing um, another Minions ride, uh, the universe has a lot of construction going on, that there's a big possibility that this, rather than be a uh, full breakdown of the land, that they're probably going to retheme it to a DreamWorks stuff. So a lot of things that are there now, they continue to be there later. Another good thing that I'll tell you about right now when you're packing, um, again, we're 90 days out, find some good shoes to wear. Um, the shoes you have, uh, you don't want to be brand new, you don't want to be trying to break in anything. You want to have shoes that are pretty well comfortable. The last thing you want to do is, is walk around with brand new shoes that look good, but they're hurting your feet. So do that. Um, sandals are pretty comfortable, but I would make sure that they're nice sandals. I wouldn't get flip-flops. Uh, one reason is that if you go on a nice ride, some some riders won't let you on flip flops, but if you do, you might obviously you may lose them, especially if you're on a roller coaster like the Hulk or um, Velocicoaster, uh, even Big Thunder Mountain. Um, those rides will you will shed your shoes, so I would definitely say not to wear sandals unless the flip flops are least. But the now the sandals are nice. Um, lastly, I would say again, take a cap. Um, as for your uh, personal hygiene stuff, toothpaste. Uh, deodorant, things like that, I would get down when I'm there. Um, reason being is it just means less packing. Um, but if you get down there late, you got a late plane ride, then you may want to go ahead and get that stuff now because you won't have time to store back to the store to get anything. So it kind of depends on your plane arrives and it kind of uh, depends on your, your taste. You may just want to pack that stuff, go for it. Uh, if you need socks, I would go with some dry socks, dry fit socks, something not too big. No regular tube socks that you get because they will stay wet long. If you get them wet, it may make your feet sweat. Um, also, if you do wear shoes without socks, after a period of time, your feet are going to sweat in them and your shoes are going to smell bad. So, take that into account also. Um, other than that, folks, it looks like I've done packing. Um, I'm going to show you what uh, my stack looks like. This is what I got for 10 days. Again, I actually made an overpack because originally the plan was going for 15 days, so a lot of stuff was packed for then, but it's still going to be good to go. Um, let me get to the next show you see what that. So this is what everything kind of compacted to, um, and I will be able to as, as clothing, so we'll smush down some more. One thing I do like about this backpack is you can, it has drawstrings on the side, you can pull them down, and it will compact that thing to where I can actually take, take on the plane, that way I have to worry about losing my luggage because it's down in the luggage compartment. That's if you can. Now, if you got a larger family, and just being honest, I probably won't use this because I have a large family. I'm going to use a regular size, two, uh, regular size uh, suitcase. Uh, so, just being honest, it's probably going to go in there. But if it's just a couple of guys, if it's just you, I would take something like that. That way you can take it on a plane with you. It compacts down pretty good. Um, and that's just that's just handy, man. I, the whole name of the game is just kind of making everything uh, simple, trying to take as much things that can go wrong out. Um, and being able to keep your luggage on the plane with you, it keeps it simple. One other thing I would say, if you have a CPAP machine, uh, I know a lot of people have uh, sleep apnea. I had it at one time. I had to take uh, my sleep apnea machine, my CPAP, along with me. Take it on the plane with you. Don't put it in your luggage. Uh, and throw it down there because it may get broken. Or if your luggage gets lost, you may not have it. So definitely carry it on the plane with you. Uh, TSA knows about them. They have no problem with that. Uh, so take that in with you. If you have a laptop, take it on the plane with you. Uh, cameras, I would say take them on the plane with you. Anything that's of value, I would take it on the plane with me rather than risking it in a suitcase. Okay, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab my shoes.
I'm actually going to pick a couple pairs. This is one of them. Very comfortable shoes. I love these shoes to death. Um, they are a, um, kind of a um, dry fit kind of material. So they get wet, they dry fairly easy. Um, the one thing I would tell you about the shoes, they're not good running shoes or anything like that. Uh, they don't have any stability on the top, so you have to roll on them and the ankles. But as for comfort, walking, the shoes are kind of hard to beat. And I'm also going to take these shoes. Um, I love these shoes. I've always worn a pair. Uh, to me, they're very comfortable. I do have insoles in them, though, because they can be kind of hard uh, on the feet when you're walking on some hard uh, surfaces all day. So I'm going to take two pairs of shoes in case one of them um, does give out. I never want to have to be out without a pair of shoes. And we're going to start sticking these things in the back. Again, one thing uh, when you're packing, especially if you're packing for a family, pack light. Um, that's one of the things, again, us having a part in the house is good for that has a washing machine. So we don't have to worry about having to pack a lot of things. We can just wash. And the same with shoes. When I was thinking about shoes, how they can start smelling bad if you like the warm without socks. You know, it's washing. Another good thing about having a house is that um, it has a kitchen, so we can buy food. It means we're not always trying to go out to get food because that can get expensive. Um, and especially when we're heading out for the parks in the morning, all to do is warm up some, you know, we can get those um, Jimmy Dean sausage biscuits with egg, warm those things up, be out the door, head to the park. Now sometimes what we will do also we have a tendency to stop by Chick-fil-A. It's kind of a traditional ours, uh, stop by Chick-fil-A. It's the only time we ever go to Chick-fil-A for breakfast, so we get the little breakfast biscuits um, with the chicken in them. So you can do that, whatever is good for you. Uh, you can eat at the parks, breakfast there. Be known that, the, that if you do that, it is more expensive um, because breakfast or any food in, inside the parks is expensive. So but keep in mind, sometimes it's special. Um, what we also do when we go to a park is that we will pack food, we'll pack fruit, we'll pack uh, peanuts, beef jerky, fruit, whatever, we'll take it with us, uh, sandwiches, take with us, that we don't have to worry about buying food at the parks. Again, for a family like ours, it's going to cost anywhere around $170, $180 for food, for really chicken nuggets and burgers. So, you can bring your own food, we will eat once at the park, just because, to me, she wants at the park, but... You know, we'll take food, we'll snack on it through the day, we'll eat, then we'll leave for dinner. Um, so, remember that. Remember the water. Um, you can bring your own water. That we have to pay $4, $5 for a bottle of water. You can also bring a collapsible cup, or you can bring just something that you can refill back. They have stations where you can refill your cups back with water. Um, last thing I'm going to talk about, and I'm just going to kind of hit on it briefly. Uh, when you're getting your, your, um, your tickets, you can do what they call a Genie Plus. We, well, let's black up. All tickets come with Genie. Genie basically is Disney, kind of almost like a uh, butler for you. It tells you all uh, the time, wait times. It tells you if you're going to go for dinner. It can direct you to the places that have long wait lines. Uh, it can kind of direct you to the brides that don't have long wait lines. It's kind of Disney's way of ushering crowds in places where it's not too crowded. Um, so, and, and that's cool. Then you have a Genie Plus, which is you can, um, for I think it's $20, 15 to $29 a day, depending upon how busy it is, you'll pay an upcharge on top of your ticket, but unless you get into certain rides, um, bypassing the standby line, going to what they call a Genie Plus line, which is like a fast pass. Um, and then lastly, there's a Lightning Lane uh, Plus, which is you can buy special rides, but it's usually two at every part. And you can buy those rides. And we'll get into that more later. But just something that I always think about when you start making your plans for your day. If you're in the Genie Plus, if Universal is that's called um, Express uh, Express Pass. And basically what that does, you can get you on all the rides. You pay a certain amount, which is $75, $80, something like that extra. But all the rides in that park you get into. So it's, it's a good thing. To be honest, we go to Universal. We've never had anything we want to ride, we've ridden. 
Uh, we waited for Ben and Journey a couple of times. Um, you've been able to ride lots of coaster, there, get on the Hulk, and so I saw everything was just closed or shut down. We can usually get on it. Um, Disney, you've always had the same thing. You've been able to get on pretty much anything you want to get on. The only problem you might have is Magic Kingdom because it's a much busier park, especially on the weekends. So if you can, on the weekends, avoid Magic Kingdom. Um, it's a smaller park, so everything's compact. Um, but a lot of you know, Disney's most popular rides are Magic Kingdom. So take that into account also. Uh, if you can't go on a weekday, and if you do a Magic Kingdom, you may want to think about the Lightning Plus, um, possibly even Genie Plus. So that's all I'm going to have for you today. Uh, if there's any questions, please go to Car Mode Vacations. That's C A R R M O A D Vacations.com. We can answer questions for you. You can email me. Um, if you want to plan your, your uh, trip back, you can do that through our, um, through our uh, tab there. So please go to there, plan your trip. Again, if you have any questions, let me know. We take every airlines for you, your rental car, your hotel, your tickets, everything you want to do, we can do it there for you. Uh, guys, do have you have questions, email me at carmo at yahoo.com. That's C A R R M O A D at yahoo.com. Uh, yeah, thank you guys. We love you. Thanks for supporting our channel. Please hit the like button. Uh, please hit the subscribe button. Uh, we really love to grow our family. And also, uh, hit the bell notification button because we'll be having new videos come out about getting prepared for Disney, what they're doing at Disney, uh, and at Universal. If you just have the time of your life, because it's a great place. It's a place we love to go to. When we leave, we can't wait to plan our next trip going back. So, always remember um, those, uh, those contact information, and we will definitely be back with you. Love you guys.